Yo, what's up everybody? Back again with a little review. Uh, it's been a little while since my last one. I got about four or five pieces in since I did that. This is one of them, and uh, this is the ARH Studios Barbarian. Now this is another piece based off an artist, Frank Frazetta from Brooklyn, New York. And this is the Conan. Now this is a, a painting that he did back in 1966, I believe. Like I said, this is the Conan. And uh, this is actually the painting, the art print that ARH provides. The art prints are right. It's uh, printed on that, you know, nice paper, whatever. It doesn't come with a uh, protective bag or whatever. It just comes in the box like that. But this is the piece itself. Now, um... What this, you know, what this statue is, is basically has to be a perfect representation of the painting. Otherwise, the Frasetta family wasn't going to approve of it. So when A-Rage got the, I guess, contract to do these pieces, they would needed to present the, uh, I guess, the prototype to, to the uh, Frasetta family. And they had to approve of it. And if they said, yeah, it's good to go, then they were uh, allowed to, you know, put the piece into production so this is appro uh, approved by the Rosetta family so I mean that kind of means a lot saying that they approved it and they said that this was uh, the best representation of you know Frank Rosetta's paintings that he did so you know it's nice you know I really like the piece personally there's a couple things that I don't like but I'll get that uh Get to those uh, couple things that I don't like later on in the review. But as of right now, this is the base. Now, um, there was two versions of this piece. The first one that I got that I actually returned because it was a little too big uh, for my collection. I wanted to, you know, display him next to the Death Dealer in the same Besta Cube and it wasn't going to fit. And that was actually... The bigger base, which you can see in this art print that comes with the slave girl, the axe, the hand back here. The, the base was massive. And I just couldn't, you know, display in my collection. So I, re, uh, I returned it. And the awesome guys from Secret Compass were able to grab me this one. Now this one, this base, or this piece itself, there was only 11 of these made. I got number six. So there was 11 of these bases made, the smaller base that you see. And, um, you know, that's that. So the bigger base, you know, I think there was 60 of those made, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think there was 60 altogether made. So, you know, it's nice to have a little addition size and whatnot. But along with that comes the expectation of it being absolutely perfect because of the low addition size. Now... What I don't like about this base, the one thing I don't like, and the only thing I don't like about it, is the blood drips. The blood drip that comes off the sword, the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box was this drip right here. It doesn't look natural at all. You know, like liquid and water, whatever, would, would move the path of the uh, least resistance. And that, I feel, would have came down the side of the skull, not over the top like this. I know it's small, and it's I guess you can say it's kind of nitpicking, but... When you look at it, it doesn't look natural like that. That's just me, but other than that, I mean, the rest of the base looks perfect, you know? The skulls, the sculpt on them, the uh, the paint job on them, you know, everything's really well done. And like I said, this is based off a painting, so it is what it is, I guess you can say, but I think it looks great. You know, you have the uh, the rib cage right there, the skull coming out of the mud. Average Studio symbol in the back right here, like they're doing all their pieces. This piece comes separate, it slides right in the base like that. Another skull down here. A war helmet right there. Some more skulls up front. Like I said, other than that on the base, I and mean, the rest of the base I think looks absolutely amazing. 
considering it's based off of a, a painting. Now this sword comes separate. You slide it right in with his uh, his hand. His hand comes off with it. Um, his bracelet right here. Same thing on this one. The thatch is right there. This little dagger comes with a magnet, and it magnetizes in like that. At first, that was tricky to figure out because it doesn't come with instructions or whatnot. But um, that's where it goes. Now with the uh, the sheath for a sword, same thing with the death dealer. It's a real metal chain. Comes with a hook back here, and this is just like free uh, free flying, which I like. And it's another dimension to the statue. Just moves on its own. Obviously, you have to be careful because I might scratch if you move too much, but. I like that aspect of the, that you right there with this and the death dealer. Nice little touch. Now on to Conan himself. His feet sitting right here. And as you can see, compared to the uh, the paint off the uh, art print, it's pretty spot on. I believe, I think, I like it. Um, the sculpt is great. The musculature is done very well. As you can see, the veins are done very nicely. The skin tone is really good. And you have all those little scars on them. I can see the job they did on the hair. Very well done. Nice jet black on it, like it is in the painting. And you have his uh, necklace right there, the little skull and the medallions. You can see his face. You know, war torn, he's got scars around him. Looks like he's just beat up. Which I like. Now, like I said, there was another thing that I didn't like. And that piece right there. It's the same skin tone. I mean, it's the same color as his, as his skin tone. I feel like that's a piece of his belt and it should be a different color. Because of um, that buckle right there. I mean, I don't know. Because I think I've seen on another one that it was the same thing. I don't know, but I think it should have been a different color. That's just me, but but here's the rest of his belt right here, which is done perfect, you know? So I don't know if that was done purposely or if it was just, you know, an oversight because, I mean, the rest of his belt and everything like that looks perfect, as you can see. And you know, this, I think this is done very well. I mean, but this is, uh, this is it. I mean, this is the statue. This is the A.R.H. Conan. Frank Vizetta line. Number six out of 11. Like I said, the other one, the base was a lot bigger. And it comes with the slave girl. There's a hand that, come, that, that came with it. The axe and everything else. But if you're looking for something that's uh, a little bit smaller. Because like I said, I mean, that base was tremendous crazy big but if this would fit in your collection a little better you might want to try and uh, grab one of these because I display him right there next to the death dealer so that fits in the best of cube perfectly together and uh, this is it guys I mean let me know what you think I think they did a great job on it and um, I mean Frank was at his arts I mean if you Google him and check out his art, it's really cool. Really nice stuff that he did, and I'm glad that they uh taking the time out to um you know turn his art into actual 3D statues, which is really cool. I'm gonna try and uh do reviews on the other like four or five pieces that I did get. And um, 
I'll post those up too. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Later.